It's Joe from American Trucks, and in this video, we're going over the Flowmaster Flow Effects dual exhaust system with black tips and a rear exit, fitting all 09 to 18 5.7 liter powered Ram 1500s with a factory dual exhaust. Now, this is gonna be a great option for the Ram owner that's looking to change up their exhaust with a brand new offering from Flowmaster that's gonna offer moderate volume, deep mellow tone, blackout tips, and 409 grade stainless steel. So as you guys just heard, this is really solid in the volume category. For that, I'm gonna give it a three out of five on our wake neighbor scale. Tone is definitely there, drone is at a minimum. This is gonna pack, like I said earlier, that deep sort of mellow tone. It's a little bit mature, if I could describe it that way. This is gonna be great for the guy that's looking to have fun, but at the same time, not wake their neighbors up in the morning on a cold start. So let's dive into what is gonna be making that tone and where all that volume is going to be coming from. As far as build quality goes, this kit is gonna be fully MIG welded, mandrel bent, 409 grade stainless steel. Mandrel bends, they're exactly what you want, basically throughout the length of any bends on the system. The walls of the tubing, they're gonna stay nice and smooth, allowing your exhaust gases to escape as quickly and as smoothly as possible. 409 grade stainless steel, that is gonna be a middle ground stainless steel. You might notice a little bit of surface rust, however, that's never going to interfere with the structural integrity of this tubing. In fact, it's exactly what Ram ship with from the factory. Back here for our tip, we do have a little bit of a higher grade stainless steel, that's gonna be 304, and that is gonna hold up basically just as well as it looks right now for years to come. That is really high quality stuff, and to be honest, it's really the only thing you see, and you got a nice ceramic coat over that, which basically is gonna provide a second layer of protection. We're gonna get this side by side with the factory exhaust in just a second here. And basically overall, the piping diameter here is going to be increased in size throughout the length of the exhaust. Before our muffler, we have a three inch inlet pipe, and then we have our flow effect straight through muffler. That's where most of our sound is gonna be coming from. After that, we split into two larger two and a half inch diameter tubes. They're gonna be for our dual exhaust. We're completely losing factory resonators out of this kit, so that's where some of the sound is gonna be coming from. And at the end, here we do have some awesome blackout tips they're four inches in diameter they're slash cut rolled edge and they're going to be a perfect match for any blackout build now the flow effects this is going to be Flowmaster's newest offering to their expansive exhaust lineup this is going to do things a little bit differently when it comes to the muffler this is going to be the only one that features a single stage packing as opposed to metal baffles which is what they use in their more traditional stuff Sound profile is gonna be affected by that a little bit, giving it that sort of deep, mellow tone. Pricing for the system is gonna fall right around 600 bucks. Now that is gonna be budget friendly relative to what we're working with here. Usually when you get to a dual exhaust, prices go up exponentially when compared to a single exhaust just because there's more material used. But this is really efficient in the way that it packs a lot of features, 409 stainless steel, blackout tips, dual exhaust, all that stuff and still manages to keep the price point low around that $600 range. Also included in that price is gonna be a limited lifetime warranty. Before we move on to the install here, I do wanna make a quick note about fitment. I mentioned earlier, this is gonna fit everything 09 to 18 with the 5.7 Hemi and a factory dual exhaust. There is a little bit of an exception to that, 2019 and 2020 Ram Classic models, they're still fourth gen trucks, this exhaust will work perfectly fine on those variants as well. All right, so on to the good stuff. Let me show you how to get this installed on your Ram. I'm gonna give this an easy two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Should take you no longer than two hours if you come with the right tools. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install will include an impact, ratchet, pry bar, exhaust hanger removal tool, small extension, 14 millimeter wrench, 13, 14, 15, and 16 millimeter sockets, and some spray lubricant, PB blaster, a rust penetrant, we'll do just that. So we're gonna start our uninstall here by grabbing the 13 millimeter socket on the impact gun. I like to remove the two exhaust tips. That makes removing the tailpipes a little bit easier as it gives you a little bit more clearance. So we're gonna get those out of the way, and then we can remove those tailpipes. This one's a little bit tougher to get to with the impact. I'm gonna use the electric ratchet. And get that one out of there as well. 
Next thing we're gonna do is take a 15 millimeter socket on a small extension. We're gonna loosen up these two clamps around the tailpipes. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our exhaust hanger removal tool. If you don't have one of these, you could work this off with your hands. Just use a little bit of spray lubricant, but we're gonna remove this hanger isolator at the rear of the driver's side tailpipe. There's one more on this tailpipe and then we can remove this side. So at least for us over here on the passenger side, this hanger is really cooperating with us today. So we're gonna take the whole pipe out at once, out of the back of the muffler and out of this hanger at the same time. Next thing we're gonna take care of is our muffler. There's one 16 millimeter clamp at the front and then two exhaust hangers secured in the rear. So now let's go through some of the differences of these kits and there are plenty of them. First thing, let's start with the inlet pipe. Diameter is gonna be the same, right about three inches. Big changes are gonna come with the muffler. You can see just how much of this big restrictive factory muffler we're cutting out in exchange for the flow effects. This is really gonna up that sound and that's where a lot of that is coming from. Out the back of our muffler, we do have a dual exit. Like I said earlier, this is gonna be a factory exit system, so a lot of the bends on here are gonna be the exact same. However, piping diameter is increasing two and a quarter inches from factory, two and a half with our new Flowmaster kit, so that should help with flow. Other than that, we are completely losing our two resonators, so that is a little bit more sound added on there, and we have an upgrade as far as tips go. We have polished four inch tips from the factory, and our new Flowmaster is gonna feature some black four and a half inch tips, which is a huge upgrade in my opinion, and of course, you get that really high quality 304 grade stainless steel underneath. So without any further ado, we're gonna grab our inlet pipe for the new Flowmaster. We're gonna head back to our truck and start clamping this thing down. Now before we put that up, there is a keyway on this pipe and there's a little knob on top of it that's tough to see for you guys. You just wanna make sure that that lines up and you'll feel that slide in a little bit further. You can check that it's not gonna spin and then you wanna pull the clamp all the way over and you can tighten that down with a 15 millimeter socket. I'm not gonna go all the way for now. I want this to have a little bit of wiggle room. Now, just like our inlet pipe, you wanna make sure that there's a clamp over our muffler. That's gonna to apply to everything we put up, and then that's just gonna slide on the back of that just like so. And again, I'm just gonna snug up that clamp to keep things from moving around while still being adjustable. On the back of our muffler, we're going to install two of the smaller clamps that come in the kit, and then we can put up our tailpipes. And we're gonna make sure both those tailpipes are started in our hangers. Again, there's one back here, and there's one up at the front on this side, and then on the other side, there's three in total.
After you have the tailpipes up, there are these pipes as well. They just make a small bend. These are going to go on before the tips. And it's going to be the same exact way over on the other side. And after that, we can go ahead and throw up our tip. That's going to tighten down with a 14 millimeter socket and wrench. But first, we're going to make sure everything is aligned. And that is actually looking pretty good. And we're going to do the same thing over on the other side. Next thing we're going to do is swap over to a 15 millimeter socket and tighten down the pipes that bend right before our tips. And we can do that on both sides. Now we can tighten down our tailpipes and the one on the driver's side is in two pieces so we're going to do that first. And then we can tighten them down at the muffler. Now we can give the final tighten to the clamp before our muffler and the inlet pipe. That's going to do it for my review and install of the Flowmaster FlowFX dual exhaust system with black tips and a rear exit, fitting all 091857 powered Ram 1500s with a factory dual exhaust. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep it right here at American Trucks for all things Ram.